line four and that we weren't going to offer it anymore. So but you can keep it on there because, say, next year, 25 <coughs> kids wanted to take Italian one, you have a teacher who can teach Italian. No. Is that so I, I actually think oh. I actually think that we're not doing ourselves uh, a favor by keeping courses in the program of study that have not been, uh, that we haven't run in previous years um, or that we don't have staff, right? And so I, I think that would help us, instead of having 662 sections, it may drop the number of sections and the number of courses in some way. That would be my recommendation. The only reason I asked that wasn't to be silly, but just because I know we do have some French teachers who can teach Spanish and work. There's overlap in the foreign language department, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why oh, I asked yes. that. I wasn't, I wasn't and, trying to be facetious or anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, but do we have an Italian? So we, we have a, a staff member who is dual certified, actually tri-certified, um, and one of those things is an Italian. He used to teach Italian, but now he teaches social studies. Um, but Again, to run an Italian section would mean one less social studies sections, which now are short. And, and Aaron, eventually, you're probably going to want to make more choice too. Yeah, Chinese. Well, no, this is the year. This is the year to drop it because we have we, we don't have any we don't have any course offering in Italian two, three, or four, four which means that we've cycled out of that last. So right. we can stop it now exactly. so that we don't have to cycle again. Absolutely. Got it. Go on. Are there yeah. any other questions? Yeah. <laughs> I put high on the time. I'm sorry. I have to comment. I appreciate all the hard work. I did I did Thank notice you. that we talked about that the timing of this is after quarter one we start looking at this. I think this committee and our administration have made some significant um, discussion worthy points regarding class rank, honor roll, um, weighted systems. Can we not wait until the end of quarter one next year to tackle these things? I would like to see a new course of study next year, if I'm sitting up here or if I'm sitting out there, that has addressed these concerns from, from this committee. So if we wait until the end of quarter one, we're not, we don't have time. Because I look at this now, right, and this is for our approval, and there are a lot of things that, that people up here have said that make a lot of sense, and we should be tackling. But can I say, no, no, we're not going to approve the course of study, and I think we're too far along, right? We can't not approve this course of study. So, so I would say, let's do this earlier. Let's tackle this for next year now. Let's start making these hard, have these hard conversations now so that this can change, so that when we look at this next year, we don't have questions about AP. We, we know where our CT pathways are going. We don't have questions about class rank and honor roll. And these things that we say are going to be four years in the making or, or at least not going to be done now, we're doing something about it. We're not waiting. So, yeah. Can I make that charge? I mean, I, I think the one thing for staff, what we would do, uh, we would recommend that if the school committee uh, so chose, uh, that they would give us tentative approval and what we would do is we've been taking pretty copious notes about uh, the things that people would like to address and we would spend the next week addressing them and then we would share those changes with the school committee uh, this Friday in a weekly update so that just it gives you an assurance that we're not going to go to print and have not addressed the items that you've raised. One last thing, and I'm not going to make a discussion on it. I'm sorry, John, did you want to? Yes, Let's go I, John, because he hasn't spoken yet. Yes, thank you. I'm really surprised that we don't offer Mandarin in China. I, you know, there's either the first or life, or the first or second largest country in the world population wise. They have a billion, 300 million. Um, and we do so much business with them. That I think that we're holding some kids back uh, because of it. Um, the French is good, of course, and the Spanish obviously is very good. But that Mandarin, boy, I, 
I really think you should look into that. You know, I, what I, my experience in Lincoln was we did it virtually. We didn't have a Mandarin teacher, but we did do a virtual Mandarin class. <coughs> so I don't know, you know what, we're, what we could do in terms of investigation. Thank you. Yeah, I just have one more. March. Yeah. This finishes yeah. my list. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I just want you to know I sent a list to Dr. Bryce today. So for you, I was my talking. Is it just, as a child, right, I'll make it really quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't usually say anything. I usually sit over here quietly. Oh, no, <laughs> I don't like the portfolio. I didn't like it last year. I didn't like it the year before. And I didn't like it the year before that. And I'd like all of you to take a look at it, especially those of you who had the opportunity to participate in it and have some definite um, uh, responses to what you were part of. So I would please ask that you look at that. Uh, because I saw last year's students from both sides, the old and the new, and I, I'm still not comfortable but I am not going to not pass the program study because I'm not comfortable with it. Um, and I'm not going to repeat my reading. How's that? Science fair. Wednesday. Wednesday night. Yeah, I hear the announcement. Okay. Wednesday. So what, so what is it? Science fair. Wednesday night. Here, right? Here. Right 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 Public um, viewing it begins, I believe, at seven. Two to eight. I don't know what the. Well, two to five is the judging, and then five, four, um, eight, awards. Yeah. Public viewing starts at seven here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great job, Michelle. Michelle. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh, so, so we do. We do have to vote on that. So, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed. Thanks so much again. We Thank appreciate you. all your time. Thank you. We get some time. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Chow bells. Chow bells. <laughs> 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 okay, so now we can move on to subcommittee uh, reports. We have policy and curriculum first. I will make it brief. We've all seen kind of the things of our labor most recently. I don't think we're going to be having a meeting in February because we had two in January. Um, so I think our next scheduled subcommittee meeting is March 2nd instead of first one. Thank you. Um, budget and facilities with Brian? So our, our regularly scheduled meeting would be February 17th, but that is President's Day, that is also vacation uh, week. Um, so we're tentatively looking to have uh, the budget and facilities subcommittee on the 11th, uh, but I need to confirm that with the other subcommittee members and uh, And then at the end of, shouldn't we have two in February since we have to vote on it? Well, it, <laughs> I, I need to speak with the chair and the vice chair about that. But yeah. normally it would go at the business meeting, right? They yeah. would vote at the business meeting, so we wouldn't really be necessarily another if we could get it all. Let's, we get let's, it all done. We might get it all done yeah. at the subcommittee meeting and have a recommendation. You're a brilliant man at that point. The, yeah. Okay, well, we'll, let's, but we let's very well may have it too. Yeah. And then we'll make sure everybody knows. Like what those things are. Yeah. Um, and then personnel and contract negotiations, Adam? Sure. So the personnel and contract negotiation subcommittee met on Saturday morning. Uh, mm -hmm. And we made it through about half of the contract in terms of uh, reviewing it and, and determining what our, our uh, negotiating points intend to be. Uh, we will be meeting again. Uh, 
just because there's no policy and curriculum subcommittee on Monday, February 3rd, doesn't mean there's no school subcommittee meeting. There'll be a policy and contract negotiation subcommittee meeting on Monday, February 3rd at 6 p.m. at Oliver, which will be all in executive session as we continue to look at our collective bargaining position. And we'll be meeting a lot uh, as negotiations uh, move on and move forward uh, until we get a new contract. Thank you. Adam? Yep. Anybody who hasn't turned in their book and wants to, we're having great fun writing it. And we don't have all of them. And it's a good way to show you how it works. Because a lot of you are new to this and you don't get to see what we're doing. So when we're doing it, we're not only writing it in our book, but we're writing it in so if you have to turn in your questions or comments, there's still time. Would you say, Adam? Yeah. Is that like a drop it off in drop it the superintendent's office? Okay. Yeah, and, we'll, and, and what we'll actually do is, is work to make sure that everybody gets the same comment, even though multiple of us are going through. Yeah, and yeah. then you'll get the folder back so you can see how we got to where we got to. Great. Thank you. May I please have a motion to adjourn? Yes. So moved. All in favor? Okay. Right. Someone second it. Second. Okay. <laughs> All in favor. All right. All right.